Olivia from Cute as a Bow, and today I feel is a very special day because I'm finally getting on track to my YouTube schedule. I haven't posted a new tutorial for Wednesday for a long time, and I feel like I haven't really done any filming lately, so I just feel like that's a really big accomplishment. But anyway, today's hairstyle is the Dutch Feathered Updo. Now, it's like a classic French braid, but instead I am doing a feathered Dutch braid, and it just comes down your head into a ponytail, and I have just wrapped some hair around it to kind of hide the elastic. So, let's begin. All right, so to begin this hairstyle off, I'm just going to take my trusty brush and I'm going to just brush my hair away from my face. I feel like this hairstyle is easier to do on second day hair or with second day hair because the hair kind of keeps the flyaways in check and just holds everything together. So to start off, I'm going to take some hair from the top of my head and I'm going to be dividing this piece into about three equal parts. And I'm going to be doing a Dutch braid, so I'm going to take this right strand, I'm going to cross it under the middle, I'm going to take the left strand, I'm going to cross it under the middle. Now again, with this right strand, I'm going to take some hair, I'm going to add it in, and I'm going to cross it under the middle. Again with the left, I'm going to take some hair, add it in to that left strand, I'm going to cross it under the middle. Again with the right, and again with the left, and I'm just going to be repeating these steps all the way to about the half line of my head. So this, it's not quite halfway, but I'm going to stop here, and I'm not going to pick up any hair anymore. I'm just going to do a normal three-strand braid, but it's still a Dutch braid because I'm crossing both strands under the middle. Alright, from this point on, you can secure it if you want to. I'm just going to leave it be. And I'm going to take up the rest of this hair, and I'm going to put it into a ponytail. I'm using a very thick elastic. You can use a thinner one if you have one or if you like to use them. There you go, you can tighten it up. And I'm just going to unravel the braid. If you had an elastic in, you would just take that out. I'm going to come back and I'm just going to pull the edges of the braid to get that kind of feathered look. And now I am going to take a little bit of hair, just a little bit, and I'm going to wrap it around that elastic to kind of hide it. And you can wrap it as tight or as loose as you like. And I'm going to take my bobby pin, I'm going to secure this little piece of hair that's left over from when I twisted it. And there you go. Hey guys, it's me, Olivia, and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on the Dutch Feathered Updo. Now, you can actually use a braiding technique that's called the Feathered Braid. I just kind of pancaked my um, Dutch braid to make it kind of look like 
a feathered braid. I just thought it was more difficult, so I didn't use that technique. But I will have a link in the description on a tutorial for the feather braid, and hopefully you can try that out. And I will see everyone.